Hi, Michelle. Um, when my son died from su by suicide, I took his dog. And his dog and my four dogs together have been the biggest comfort to me. Is that normal? Actually, it is that your dogs are very comforting. It's also a connection that you still have with your son because you have his dog with you. And I've known many people who've been very grateful to be able to have the animal that belonged to their loved one or you know even in a family where that loved you know maybe the dad died and there's still and there's a dog the dog really belonged to the dad but that dog is still connected to the rest of the family so that's a big connection that you still have in my dissertation study we actually looked at how people use pets particularly dogs to help them cope after loss not necessarily suicide loss but any sort of human death one of the things that came out of it was that people were very happy with their human supports but what they found was that the dogs gave them something that they didn't feel like they got from humans. So it wasn't that they weren't happy with whatever, because I, the tendency to think is that people who rely on their pets don't have human supports. But these people said, yes, I'm very happy with my human supports, but the dogs are, in, and this can be said for, I've heard it from cat people too, that they got something else. Some of the other things that came out of it were that people, it was the connection that meaning in the, the two, connection and routine, was that, you know, a dog needs to be walked, a dog has to be fed, a dog has to go out, and some dogs really like to play. So despite the fact that the human, the person who was surviving the loss, didn't want to get out of bed in the morning, that person had to because the dog needed to be cared for. And a lot of people said that they were forced to, into that routine, that they, you know, they didn't want to have anymore, but it was really helpful. The other thing that happens is that getting out and walking, obviously, or running a dog is a very good thing. But then what typically happens is you end up talking to people. And sometimes when you're talking to people, you don't have to talk about the loss. Maybe you're, you don't, maybe you're afraid to talk to people because you're tired of talking about the loss. But here you have an opportunity to talk about these two dogs, you know, this person's dog and your dog meeting. And so that's actually another connection that can be very helpful. And it takes your mind off. With, you know your loss and also reminds you that there's still the world out there and there's still good things in the world because you had these people who you know may not even know what you're going through another thing that people said was the laughter that the antics gave them you know, that they would watch the dog and how just it made them feel you know, just really good because we know that laughter is very very helpful when my father died in 2006 one of the and we had actually planned to get my mom a dog and that was already in the works. We had the dog for my mom and she was actually supposed to get him two weeks after what ended up being when my dad died. And this is not something we would have, you know, we wouldn't have just run out and gotten my mom a dog if my dad died. But one of the things that happened was that because my parents were empty nesters, was that my mom said that having Ginger in the house, just hearing her walk around, hearing her, her tags jingle, her, you know, her toenails walk across the wood floor, she said she was just grateful for the noise because, you know, my dad's shuffling around the house on his way out to smoke a cigarette on the outside. Outside the garage wasn't there anymore, but she had Ginger, and that made her feel comforting. That was comforting to her to know that Ginger was there. So the reality is that for many people, pets do provide something different, and the more we are considering pets part of our families, the more that we're also acknowledging how much they help us in times of loss and, and keep us instilled with hope. Ma. I feel better. Thank you, Michelle.